Sarah's here. Wait, there's the lighthouse. I'll be safe if I can make it there. I hope. Please let me make it there. That was so surreal. Famously called film Little Pieces of Time. But he could be talking about photography, as he likely was. Okay. So I'm in class. Everything's cool. No, I'm okay. From light to shadow. From color to chiaroscuro. Now, can you give me an example of a photographer who perfectly captured the human condition in black? I didn't and white? fall asleep, and that Anybody? sure didn't feel like a dream. Bueller. Weird. Diane Arbus. There you go, Victoria. Why Arbus? Because of her images of hopeless faces. You feel like totally haunted by the eyes of those sad mothers and children. She saw humanity as tortured, right? And frankly, it's bullshit. Shh, 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 shh. Keep that to yourself. Seriously, though, I could frame any one of you in a dark corner and capture you in a moment of desperation. And any one of you could do that to me. Isn't that too easy? Too obvious? What if Arbus chose to capture people at the height of their beauty or innocence? She had a brilliant eye. So, she could have taken another approach. I have to admit, I'm not a big fan of her work. I prefer Robert Frank. <laughs> Me too, Victoria. He captured the essence of post-war beat America. And there was honesty about the economic conditions of the era but a beauty in the struggle. You, you don't have beauty without a- Look at this crap. How can I show this to Mr. Jefferson? Beat. I can hear the class Which laughing at me now. Frank was Kerouac's photographic muse, and both were the great chroniclers- the And I have to get my daily people. selfie quota. We've all seen that iconic shot of Kerouac on the balcony. And if you haven't, shame, shame. Shh, shh, shh. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie, a dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. Of course, as you all know, the photo portrait has been popular since the early 1800s. Your generation was not the first to use images for selfie expression. Sorry, I couldn't resist. The point remains that the portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for as long as it's been around. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? You're asking me? L let me think. Um... You either know this or not, Max. Is there anybody here who knows their stuff? Louis Daguerre was a French painter who created daguerreotypes, a process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Very good, Victoria. The Daguerrean process brought out fine detail in people's faces, making them extremely popular from the 1800s. I can't on. believe I still have this the pencil case. I should upgrade to the 21st century. But I like it old school. You can find out all about him in your textbook or even online. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco, where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure, and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. 
I'm still waiting for your entry too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Victoria doesn't waste a second. I should have known. She'll have better equipment than Blackwell. I know, Mr. Jefferson. I just worked so hard on the shot. And I Excuse me, Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes. Excuse you. No, Victoria. Excuse us. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. I didn't have any time. Way too much homework. Max, you're a better photographer than a liar. Now, I know it's a drag to hear some old dude lecture you, but life won't wait for you to play catch up. You're young, the world is yours, blah, 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 right? But you do have a gift. You have the fever to take images, to frame the world only the way you envision it. Now, all you need is the courage to share your gift with others. And that's what separates the artist from the amateur. You didn't tell me how cute I looked yet. I was about to. Just getting you always Welcome to the cute. real world. Just cute. Hot. Then I might send you a special I picture. Like I feel like you have to pass some sort of test. Because Max wants everybody to see how hip she is. Cards she plays it so shy. <laughs> I need a serious time out in the bathroom. Splash water on my face and make sure I don't look like a total loser. I hate that class. It's so fucking boring. She's so fucking shy. She takes selfies with a giant camera. To all of you American girls, it's sad to imagine a world without you. American girls, I'd like to be part of the world around Empty. you. Good. Nobody can see my meltdown except for me. Just relax. Stop torturing yourself. You have a gift. Fuck it. When a door closes, a window opens. Or something like that. Okay, girl, you don't get a photo op like this every day. It's cool, Nathan. <laughs> Don't stress. You, you're okay, bro. Just come to three. Don't be scared. You own this school. If I wanted, I could blow it up. <laughs> you're the boss. So what do you want? I hope you check the perimeter, as my step-ass would say. Now, let's talk business. I got nothing for you. Wrong. You got hella cash. That's my family, not me. Oh, boo-hoo, poor little rich kid. I know you've been pumping drugs and shit to kids around here. I bet your respectable family would help me out if I went to them. Man, I can see the headlines now. Leave them out of this bitch! I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself! 
You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with. Where'd you get that? What are you doing? Come on, put that thing down! Don't ever tell me what to do! I'm so sick of people trying to control me! You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs! Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! No! Whoa! What the fuck? How? How can that be? I was in the bathroom. He shot that poor girl. I held up my hand. And then I was back here. Yes, he likely was. These pieces of time can frame us. I already heard this lecture. From light to shadow. From color. Now Kate is being hassled again. And if Victoria's phone rings. This is real. Now, Shit. can you give me an example of a Damn, photographer I cannot believe who this. captured the human condition in black and white? Okay, if I'm crazy, I might as well go all the way. Bueller. Can I actually reverse time? Go, Victoria. Why Arbus? I did it. I actually did it. Example of a photographer who perfectly captured the human machine. condition in black and white. Anybody? Max, don't freak out. Not yet. There you go, Victoria. Why Arbus? Because of her images of hopeless faces. You feel like when I took my selfie, yet, Jefferson asked me a question. If he does again, I I'll know this is for real. Kids call a selfie, a dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition, and Max has a gift. I know I'm not dreaming course, this. You all know, the it's real. Has been I can tell. The early 1800s. Your generation so I can go back in time. For selfie expression. What if that girl so isn't dead yet? I couldn't resist. The point can I save her? The portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography. For I need to go to the bathroom quickly and check it out. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please... Tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits. I'm sorry, but I really have to use the bathroom. Nice try, Max. But you're not going to get away that easy. We can talk more after class. Is there anybody oh, here shit. who knows their stuff? Jefferson wants to keep me you after class. And I need time to save that girl. Types? A process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Very good, Victoria. What if I rewind again process, and give him the right answer? Find detail in people's faces, making them. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you? The Daguerrean process. Invented by a French painter named Louis Daguerre around 1830. Somebody has been reading as well as posing. Nice work, Max. <sighs> the Daguerrean process made portraiture hugely popular, mainly because it gave the subjects clear defined features. But you can learn more when you actually finish reading the assigned chapters. Max is so far way ahead of everyone. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes Contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco, where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure, and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry, too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Max, you are not crazy. You are not dreaming. It's time to be an everyday hero. Yes, Victoria, you still have to do your homework this week. Even if you're I see you, Max Caulfield. Don't even think about leaving here until we talk about your entry. I'd never let one of photo- Uh, yeah, I'm not sure I have one. Given your selfie output, I'm sure you must have about a thousand pics by now. It'll take a long time to find a good one. Max? Don't wait too long. John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. 
Go on now. Don't let me stop you. Yes, Victoria, you still have to do your homework this week. E Excuse me, Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes. Excuse you. No, Victoria. Excuse us. I'd never let one of photography's future... I'm on top of it. I think John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Max, you're on fire today. All the right answers. Good. Make sure you finish working on it by today. I have faith in you. Stop this bullshit and go save that girl. I hope I have enough time to get to the bathroom. Please, please. I can't tell anybody. They'll think I'm crazy. I have to get my education. Yo, Daniel! You remember that it's paid? No, I don't tease. I hate that science class with those nerds. What's that got to do? Okay, Max, retrace every step. I washed my face. I shredded my photo. Then the butterfly flew in. And I took a photo. Leave them out of this bitch! I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself! You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with! Where did you get that? What are you doing? Don't Come on, put that thing down! Tell me what to do! Wow, sir, it's happening you can. People trying to control me! You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs! Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? No, he has a gun! I could do something else. Holy shit, I can't let this happen. If I can reverse time again, I can help her. Don't ever tell me what to do. I'm so sick of people trying to I control I need a me. hammer to break it open. Get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, I need a hammer to break it open. Oh, shit. No. Ever even missed your punk ass, would they? I need a hammer to break it open. Oh, shit! No, 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 no! No, 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 no! Enough, Max. You can't go back any further. People trying to control me! You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! I need a hammer to break it open. No! No, 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 no! You can't go back any further. I need a hammer to break it open. You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. No way! Don't ever touch me again, freak! Another shitty day. That did not happen. This cannot be real. I just saw a girl get shot and then saved her. What the fuck is going on? Do not freak out. Hey, do you hear that fire alarm? That means you should be outside. I had to use the bathroom. Girls always use that excuse. Excuse for what? For whatever you're up to. Your face is covered in guilt. The alarm tripped me out. Then trip on out of here, missy. Or are you hiding something? Huh? Thank you, Mr. Madsen. The situation is under control. There's no emergency here. Leave Miss Caulfield alone and please turn off that alarm since that's your job.
Don't wander around here. Get on outside. You look a little stressed out. Are you okay? I'm... I'm just a little worried about my future. Are you sweating pinballs? Is that all you're thinking about? You could always be up front with me, Max. Or have you done something wrong? Is that it? Well, Max, talk to me. I just saw Nathan Prescott waving a gun around in the girls' room. Nathan Prescott? You sure? Yes. He was in the bathroom talking to himself with a gun. I saw everything. He was babbling like crazy. Okay, slow down. Slow down. So now you saw this without him seeing you. I was hiding behind a stall. I have the right to be there. It's the girl's room. I know. I know. I just want to be completely clear what happened. Mr. Prescott happens to be from the town's most distinguished family and one of Blackwell's most honored students. So it's hard for me to see him brandishing a weapon in the girl's bathroom. So what happened next? Then... then he left. I ran out here wondering what to do. Are you gonna bust him? This is a serious charge. I'll look into the matter personally. Thank you for bringing it to my attention. That's it? After what I told we'll you? We'll continue this discussion later in my office. Please go outside with the rest of your class now, Miss Caulfield. Of course this academic drone won't do anything since the Prescott family owns Blackwell now. Should I rewind and change my story? You look a little stressed. I just got sick in class. Um, female trouble. Except you're wandering around like a zombie. And do you think that's the first time a student has used that line on me? It's the truth. I felt dizzy in Mr. Jefferson's just class. Just tell me what you're hiding. You can trust me. There's nothing to hide. I got sick. It happens, you know. There's that teen toot again. You know, I've, I've heard enough. Don't think I don't know what goes on around here. You've only been here for three weeks, and you're already causing conflict. I don't think your parents will approve when they find out. Now get outside with the class. Please. No, he does not- Don't wander around here. Get on outside. You look a little stressed. Rachel Amber. She looks so hopeful and pretty. I wonder what happened to her. This day has been so insane. I better read Warren's text.
Okay, I better get to my dorm and grab that flash drive. I like this school energy near the primordial forest. Nope, I don't want to go there. Now I have to go back to the dorm. This day never ends. Come on, Logan, bring it, Brock. Yeah! I need to go to my room and return Warren's flash drive. Oh. Hi, Max. What are you reading? Love today or die forever. Don't even say anything. No. It's a bestseller. What to say? Good point. Now if you'll excuse me. Yeah. Oh look, it's Max Caulfield, the selfie hoe of Blackwell. What a lame gimmick. Even Mark, Mr. Jefferson, falls for your wave hipster bullshit. The Daguerrean processor. You could barely even say that. I guess you got your meds filled. 
Okay. Since you know all the answers, I guess you have to find another way into the dorm. We ain't moving. Oh, wait. Hold that pose. So original. Don't worry, Max. I'll put a vintage filter on it right before I post it all over social medias. Now, why don't you go fuck your selfie? Yeah. Oh, yes, Victoria. I'll get your bony ass out of my way. None shall pass. Capiche? That's the first and last time I expect to hear that. There goes Samuel da Vinci to paint the window. Sorry, no paparazzi allowed. Sorry, no paparazzi allowed. I could crank the sprinkler up and give Victoria and her clones incentive to beat it. I could crank the sprinkler up and give Victoria and her clones incentive to beat it. There's only one way around this. I don't want to mess with that ladder and hurt poor Samuel. I just want to get Victoria the hell out of the way. There goes Samuel da Vinci to paint the window. Awesome. I can't grab that. Samuel is way too close. There goes Samuel da Vinci to paint the window. Let's see if this works. Yeah. None shall pass. Capiche? Sweet. There goes Samuel da Vinci to paint the window. but no cigar. They have to be right under the bucket. What the hell? Dude. 
Thanks so much for almost ruining my outfit. You're so lucky that didn't fall on us. We'd see your ass so fast. There's only one way around this. Okay, let's see if this works. I don't want to mess with that ladder and hurt poor Samuel. I just want to get Victoria the hell out of the way. Victoria is not getting the hint. but no cigar. They have to be right under the bucket. What the hell? Yeah. Thanks so much for almost ruining my outfit. You're so lucky that Victoria didn't Victoria is not oh, getting the hint. Your ass so fast. Damn, I missed something. I better rewind. I could crank the sprinkler up and give Victoria and her clones incentive to beat it. Hmm. A paint bucket next to Victoria. I see. Okay, let's see if this works. I could crank the sprinkler up and give Victoria and her clones incentive to beat it. None shall pass. Capiche? Victoria is not getting the hint. but no cigar. They have to be right Jesus under Christ. the bucket. What the hell? Sorry, no thanks so much for almost ruining my outfit. Victoria is not You're getting the hint. so lucky that didn't fall on us. We'd see your ass so fast. Damn, I missed something. I better rewind. Oh. Close, but no cigar. They have to be right Jesus under the Christ. bucket. What the hell? Thanks so much for almost ruining my outfit. You're so lucky that I didn't fall. I could crank the sprinkler up and give so Victoria fast. and her clones incentive to beat it. I need to figure this out. Close, but no cigar. They have to be right Jesus under the bucket. What the hell? Thanks so much for almost ruining my outfit. Keep- You're so lucky that didn't fall on us. Nice. We'd see your ass so fast. Oh. 
close, but no cigar. They have to be right Jesus. under the bucket. What the hell? Thanks so much for almost ruining my outfit. You're so lucky that I didn't fall on it. Think, Max. Do you understand English? Get lost. That's the first and last time I expect to hear that. What the hell? Are you kidding? Nice. Look at this! Chill, Victoria. It's just water. Yeah, water on my cashmere. Do you know how much this fucking outfit costs? You look great. I can't even chill on the steps. missed something. I better rewind. Nice. Okay, let's see if this works. Oh, Sam, you're sorry. Wet, wet paint is not good for hair, nope. Sorry. Get the hell away from me, weirdo. Hold on, hold on. We'll get some towels. We'll be right back. So move your ass before I dry. It worked. Don't mess with Max, bitches. Awesome. Uh, yeah. hey, Victoria. What do you want, Max? Don't. Don't say a word, Max. Oh, wait. Hold that pose. And no filter needed before I post this. Now please move. I've had a messed up day and I'm going to my room. You do that? I know where you live. So does Nathan. Yeah. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. Now I have to get to my room, then see Warren. Room 217? No way in hell am I ever going in here. History took so long.
How sad. I didn't write anything. I have nothing to say. Home sweet home, my favorite cocoon. You are thirsty. I'm the worst baby mama. Drink up. If I'm not looking through a viewfinder, I'm looking through a window. Always looking. I'm glad Kate let me borrow her copy of The October Country. I should have every Bradbury book for myself. It's not exactly pretty in pink, but no shits are given. I like my wardrobe. It's hard to believe I'm 18 now. I'm lucky my parents enabled my photo habit into adulthood. <sighs> Max and Chloe. Best friends forever. Who even says that anymore? I'm going to have to call Chloe eventually and find out what she'll say. The longer I wait, the worse it'll be. Idiot. One day I'll organize my film collection. One day I'll get an actual HDTV. I look so pathetic. So cheesy, but... It makes me smile thinking of the day Mom and I sewed that together. Hard to believe I'm 18. Do I look any older? Just more stressed. I need to grab a flash drive on my desk before I see Warren. <laughs> Philip Lorca de Corsha, my man. I don't think I could take my camera to those places. Look at that shot. I love Julia Cameron's Victorian vibe. Talk about analog cameras. Ah, oh, Dolly, what a fantastic eye. He could truly freeze time. Max and Chloe, best friends forever. Who even says that anymore? I'm going to have to call Chloe eventually and find out. I am. Warren makes me laugh. 
It's nice to feel like I already made a real friend here. Warren even left me a little message with his flash drive. He's such a goofball. Looks like Dana left me a little post-it note. Great, now I have to go get the flash drive from Dana's room. You can't get out now, Dana. So tell me the truth or rot in there. Welcome to the real drama queens of Blackwell. Hey, Juliet, this is so Hey, Juliet, is everything cool? Oh yes, Max. I've locked Dana in the room because we're cool. She's your friend. You friends don't sex with their best friend's boyfriend. No, probably not. How did you find out? Uh, why do you care? Why are you even asking me? You never talk, just zone out with your camera. That's why I'm talking to you now. What's my last name? Juliet, Ju Juliet Olson. That was truly sad. Thanks for your concern, Max Caulfield. By the way, Juliet Watson. I can go back. Hey, Juliet. Oh, yes, Max. What did she do? What didn't she do? Dana's been sexting with my boyfriend. Ouch. How did you find out? Uh, why do you... That's why I'm talking to you. What's my last... Juliet Watson. Duh. I'm flattered. I didn't even think you knew my name at all. Of course I do. Just because I don't talk a lot doesn't mean I don't care. So, how did you find out about them? According to Victoria, Dana would do anything to date a quarterback. According to Victoria? Huh. She saw the sext, and Zachary won't answer his phone. Once Dana admits it, she can go. Straight to hell. Max, I swear I didn't do anything, but I bet Victoria did. I know the proof is in her room. Dana's still a cheerleader at heart. I'm not letting her out until she tells the truth. This girl must have been popular. She's everywhere. Ugh. I 
I'd love to make a photo collage of every person who've posted these. Leave me alone, Max. Get a clue. I'm not letting her out until she tells the truth. At least that's an alarm from this century. Looks like nobody won this TP war. There's nothing left but ghosts. Nice atmospheric shot. Needs dusting. Juliet, extreme reporter. As if. Blackwell isn't that big, but it sure feels like a labyrinth. Welcome to Black Hill. Welcome to Black Hill. Room 217? No way in hell am I ever going in here. I'd love to make a photo collage of every person who've posted these. I'd love to make a photo collage of every person who've posted these. Dane is still a cheerleader at heart. I should find a way to end this silly standoff. Leave me alone, Max. Get a oh. clue. Those boots are made for walking runways. That's real nice, Victoria. And who the hell thinks I'm a hipster? Okay, if I did wear expensive jewelry, I would wear this for sure. Yes, I get it. Enter the Vortex Club. 
No. They should call this series aloof. Cold and soulless. Kind of like Victoria. Is she going to get a 3D printer for her dorm room? Maybe I will join her posse. She's actually got a classic medium format camera with some awesome prime lens. I hate Ouch. Well, at least she puts her photographs out there. Unlike me. Let's play a little photo Tetris and leave Victoria a message. Let's move this here. And this one there. Hmm, a pattern is emerging. I'm not letting her out until she tells the truth. Dior, Givenchy, you could pay for my tuition with that wardrobe. That is a tasty plasma. Maybe I could sneak in and watch Final Fantasy Spirits Within. I bet Victoria put Juliet on her shit list after this article. Victoria hates Rachel Amber this much? How insecure. Victoria is a real Jefferson groupie. Yes, Victoria has the best retina screen left. That's real nice, Victoria. And who the hell thinks I'm a hipster? Is she going to get a 3D printer for her dorm room? Maybe I will join her posse. Whoa, I had no idea Victoria's parents owned the Chase space. Color me impressed. She's actually got a classic medium format camera with some awesome prime lens. I hate you, Victoria. Ouch. Well, at least she puts her photographs out there, unlike me.
That's mean, but she earned it. Those boots are made for walking runways. I bet Victoria put Juliet on her shit list after this article. Oh man, this is so wrong. I better find proof fast. Leave me alone, Max. Get a clue. That's real nice, Victoria. Boom. This is the email I need to show Juliet. Now I have to print this fast and get the hell out of here. This better convince Juliet that Dana is innocent. Juliet, read this. Horse. I'm an asshole. I'm sorry, Dana. You are. And I hope so. You really think I'd mess around with Zachary? No, but I get stupid jealous. I owe you dinner. Still love me? And you do my laundry. Thanks, Max. You're like the Blackwell Ninja. Now let's see what Zach has to say about Victoria. You set me free. <laughs> Thank you. Warren's flash drive is on my desk. Almost done. Get the flash drive and then I'll go see Warren. Hey, Dana. Seriously, thanks again. I can't believe Juliet locked me in my own room. Real mature. Poor Juliet gets her rage on. I hope she doesn't kill Victoria.
Zachary should worry too. As if I'd let that ego case jockstrap touch me. But I bet Victoria would be all over that action. Or has been. Max, you're smart to be a loner here. Though Warren obviously likes hanging with you. What do you mean? Oh, nothing. When you opened the flash drive, didn't you see the special folder called Max? Yeah, okay. I gotcha. Are you blushing? <laughs> Go ahead and grab the flash drive whenever. Oh, uh, Max, that's mine. Thank you. You're not helpful. You're just nosy. I think you better go. Nice, Max. You hurt her feelings by being so damn nosy again. But I could rewind and make it up to her. I have to stop before I pass out. Must protect my precious so Max never has to chase it down again. I better make sure everything is still in there. I think Warren forgot to hide the party buster folder. Not that I would open it no matter how tempting. I have my self-respect. Hey, Dana. Seriously, thanks again. I can't believe... Dana, I'm not trying to be nosy, but I heard a rumor about you. What? Who told you I was pregnant? Nobody important. They just acted like it was bullshit. I just wanted you to know. It's like a goddamn reality show around here. Can you keep a secret, Max? Of course. I... was pregnant. Was. Oh. What about the other... Deadbeat Dad? You can catch him on the 40-yard line this Friday. And it's not Zachary. Sorry to pry. It's not my business. And I won't be at the game Friday. Not much school spirit, I guess. I like your spirit, Max. Anyway. You better get that flash drive so Warren has an excuse to bug you. Of course a popular cheerleader like Dana would have a million friends. It's so fascinating to get a peek into Dana's social media world. And yes, Max, so terribly wrong.
this shit. Ow! That hurt! Damn, I better rewind. I can't go back further. I need to let go. Fuck this shit. Ow! That hurt. Ouch, poor Alyssa. That'll leave a bruise. Get lost, hipster. I'm not doing any interviews. Get lost, hipster. I'm not doing any interviews. I could almost feel sorry for him if he wasn't such a serious dick. Poor Juliet. So don't think I'm blind. I see everything here at Blackwell. Do you understand what I'm saying? No, and leave me alone. You can't fool me. I know everything about this school. I cover the waterfront. So you better figure out what side you're on. Please, leave me alone. Hope you enjoyed the show. Thanks for nothing, Max. Man, I should have stepped in between Kate and David. That asshole was so over the line. I could rewind and try something different. Leave her alone. Excuse us. This is official campus business. Excuse me. You shouldn't be yelling at students or bullying them. Hey, hey. Nobody is bullying anybody. I'm doing my job. No, you're not. You're part of the problem, Missy. I will remember this conversation. David Dickhead is after. I'm glad I stepped in that time. Can't stand to see people being bullied. <laughs> 